Hey guys, Ranveer here again and welcome to Beer Biceps, YouTube's first India specific fitness and food channel. So today's video is part one of a two part series on pre-exercise and post-exercise nutrition. Now I want to make it clear to all of you that these exact concepts apply to everyone irrespective of gender, age or even the kind of exercise you're going to be doing. So you could be lifting heavy weights or you could be going for long runs or you could even be playing a game of cricket in your building compound and the exact concepts will apply to you. According to me, and this is just my opinion, but I feel that being fit is primarily about what you eat. The kind of activity you do just sets a path for your body to grow on. But your fitness completely depends on the food you're putting into your body. A key to getting fit is that you need to stop looking at your body as just a body and need to start looking at it as a machine. Now, if you put dirty fuel like diesel inside a Ferrari's engine, the engine's gonna get spoiled. The same thing applies to your body. If you put dirty food inside it, it's not going to perform to its maximum capacity. This exact concept is amplified for the food that you eat around your workout. The food that you eat before your workout especially will affect your performance in the gym or the racetrack or even that game of cricket that you're playing. So consider a timeline that begins an hour or so before your workout. The first thing you need in your body is a sufficient amount of protein. Now when you're exercising, when you're lifting weights, when you're running, you're kind of constantly causing a bit of damage in your muscles. To repair that little bit of damage, you need a steady supply of protein from your body. You need to be selective about the kind of protein you're consuming. So a few eggs or a few egg whites will do, or even some white meat like chicken or fish. And for vegetarians, Dal is a very good option, you can also have beans or some sprouts. Now there are some precautions you need to take with the kind of protein you're consuming. You can't consume red meats for one because they have a very high fat content and fat tends to slow you down. Milk based proteins as well because they have a lot of fat and they take really long to get digested. So it'll just slow down your metabolism. So remember red meat and milk products are gonna get you like this and white meat, eggs and sprouts are gonna get you like this! Now we move to 45 minutes to half an hour before your exercise and you want to be filling your fuel tank with energy. The best source of energy is always carbohydrates. There are two ground rules in selecting your carbohydrate. One is that it should have a low fat content. Fat makes you slow and you want to be full of energy. And the second is it should have a low sugar content. Sugar gives you a sugar rush which is followed by very low energy levels. So in the middle of your workout, you'll kind of just sink. Avoid high GI fruits because they have a very high sugar content. So you want to avoid things like mangoes, pineapples and watermelons. Good options for fruits in India are bananas and apples. What works even better than fruits are slow digesting carbohydrates. Go watch my video on carbohydrate education if you haven't already. For now, all you need to know is that the best option is a slow digesting carb like brown rice, oats or sweet potato. These are low GI carbohydrates and your body takes time to break these down. So while you're working out, you have a constant supply of slow released energy. Finally, we come to a time frame of around 15 minutes to half an hour before your workout. Now this is actually the least important and it isn't even necessary for most people. This is very lifting specific. Now in order to take your athletic and physical performance to the next level to improve your coordination, all you need is a caffeine boost. So make caffeine a part of your exercise routine only if you want to take your exercise to the next level. Especially if you're lifting weights or if you have a heavy lifting session, caffeine is a very good option. But you need to remember not to use milk or sugar in your coffee as that will slow down the absorption of caffeine. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my video, leave a comment and I want to know from you guys what you guys would want to see. Until next time guys, see you.